another two news crime alert for you for the second time in a week burglars target a South Tulsa daycare center. It's a crime police say can happen anywhere. Two news anchor Brianne Palmerini is live to explain how it's also easy to prevent Brianne. Well, Russ, twice a day, this kinder care is very busy. Right about now, we've seen lots of cars come through here as parents pick up their kids after work and in the early mornings. Now, police say crooks are taking advantage of that busyness and targeting purses and cars. You wouldn't think it would happen right there, especially with the amount of traffic going through there. But these people are pretty gutsy, I guess. Haley Reese is a parent and a teacher here at this daycare. She's shocked to hear thieves stole two mothers' purses in minutes. She says both didn't lock their cars when they brought their children in for the day. You're trying to hurry up and drop your child off and hurry and get to work in that little window of time. You forget. And because it's that easy, police say crooks target places like daycares, and it's not a new trend. It happens all the time, every year. This year, victims report six different break-ins at daycares. Only in one did they break any glass at all. Most of the time, they just open up the door. Sometimes the doors are open. Officer Bennett says that's good news because this crime is very preventable. Always lock your car and hide your valuables. These guys don't break into every car that comes up there. They only break into the cars that they can readily see the items. According to Haley, the crooks who stole the purses at this kinder care did some serious damage. Apparently, the people run straight to Walmart and get gift cards. The first one, they got $1,200 worth of gift cards on her corporate card. Which is why Haley and others are taking note. I make sure I lock it. I make sure it honks at me. <laughs> Well, the most recent break in actually happened here this morning when it was busy. Now, police say they're working to warn other daycares in town about the possibility. Live in South Tulsa, Brianne Pomerini, 2 News, works for you.